Hello. Today I want to focus on verse to verse. And um, uh, First John chapter 1 verse 9 in a complete Jewish Bible. Verse 9, if we, conf uh, if we acknowledge our sins, then since he is trustworthy and just, he will forgive them and purify us from all wrongdoing. And um, focus on the first John chapter one verse nine. Um, I want to also read it through um, different um, translation. I want to use the um, J.B. Phillips New Testament and um, um, verse 9 and 10, experience of living in the light. Um, focus on verse 9 and 10, but uh, I'm starting from verse 5. Here then is the message which we heard from him and now proclaim to you God is light and no shadow of darkness can exist in him consequently if we were to say that we enjoyed fellowship with him and still went on living in darkness we should be both telling and living a lie but if we really are living in the same light in which he eternally exists, then we have true fellowship with each other and the blood which his son shed for us keeps us clean from all sin. If we refuse to admit that we are sinners, then we live in a world of illusion and truth becomes a stranger to us. But if we freely admit that we have sinned, we find God utterly reliable and straightforward. He forgives our sins and makes us truly clean from all that is evil. For if we take up the attitude we have not sinned. We flatly deny God's diagnosis of our condition and cut ourselves off from that he has to say to us. And then let me go back on a different translation. Um, I might want to use the Amplified Bible translation and more clarify here uh, if we really admit that we have sinned and confess our sins he is faithful and just true to his own nature and promises and will forgive our sins and cleanse us continually from all unrighteousness our wrongdoing everything not in conformity with his will and purpose. And um, let me um, explain what does 1 John 1 verse 9 means. In this fourth, fourth, in this fourth, if statement, John refers to confession of our sins to God. The pattern of positive or negative statement once again set up the reader to expect a positive if statement in this phrase. See note in 1 John chapter 1 verse 8. Let's see 1 John chapter 1 verse 8. In the, in the, uh, I'm going to use the um, different verse here. Um, this is 
New King James Version. How about that? Um, 1 John chapter 1, verse 8. If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. Okay. Confession of our sins has always been seen as a godly practice among those who turn to the Lord. Levit Leviticus chapter 5, verse 5. Let's go over to uh, Leviticus chapter 5. Okay, Leviticus chapter 5, verse 5, in New King James Version. And it shall be when he is guilty in any of these matters that he shall confess that he has sinned in that thing. It's in a, a Torah, book of Moses. Um, Complete Jewish Bible. Same verse on Leviticus chapter 5, verse 5. A person guilty of any of these things is to confess in what manner he sinned. The meaning is the same because of a complete Jewish Bible or any other translation. That uh, expression and the meaning, it, it is the same meaning. Uh, um, uh, you can recognize what the Word of God is saying. How about um, <clears throat> here in the uh, Tree of Life version, TLB, in Leviticus chapter 5, verse 5. So it will be when one becomes guilty of one of these things, he should confess about what he has sinned. So the, the key word is a confession. Confession meaning is uh, uh, what you taught, what you, uh, you know, I mean, you, you are taught in your mind is not just hold for yourself, but to confess from your mouth to declaring is the uh, outspoken, is the uh, 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 action of your righteous uh, deed to God. Amen? So that, um, let me continue here. Uh, Numbers chapter 5, verse 7. Okay, Numbers chapter 5, verse 7. Three of life virgin, that person is to confess the sin he has committed, make full restitution for his wrong, add one fifth to it, and give it to the one he wronged. Amen. How about Ezra chapter 10, verse 1? I'm, I'm uh, speaking from the um, um, uh, Tree of Life version that I'm using for the Messianic, Messianic study. And, and this is here, uh, Tree of Life version, say, Putting Away Pagan Wives is the title, but just focus on uh, one verse at a time. Uh, while... Ezra was praying and confessing, weeping and prostrating himself before the house of God. A very large assembly of Israelite, men, women, and children gathered around him. The people also wept very bitterly. Okay. Okay, so um, uh, uh, going back, the confession of our sins has always been seen as a godly practice among those who turn to the Lord, and has been seen 
as a source of eating. Okay, key verse here is a James chapter 5, verse 16. James chapter 5, verse 16, on the tree of life virgin. So confess your offenses to one another and pray for one another so that you may be healed. The effective prayer of a righteous person is very powerful. Amen. Those who confess sins are measured that God will forgive and remove that sin's impact on fellowship. Note that even though this passage is written to believers, John states that those who confess sins are both forgiving and cleansed. So believers are forgiven at the point of salvation. There is also an ongoing sense in which believers need to confess sin and experience forgiveness and cleansing. Cleansing was an important part of the Mosaic Law. Mentioned some 14 times in the book of Leviticus alone. It was the goal of those who brought a sacrifice to the Lord in the tabernacle and the temple. When we have an argument with others, it creates a barrier to fellowship. Since a barrier between us and God will always be our fault. Our need for confession is important for our relationship to God. Amen. So, um, um, again and again, that 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 the confession is your um, de degree to your own to God, uh, which is. Uh, repentance means to turning back from a wicked ways. And uh, it is not just saying, I am sorry, or many times, and and not doing that that uh, accomplishment of what you are saying. And confession means declaring and changing your life and submission to the will of God. Amen. So God bless you and Jesus loves you and Yeshua HaMashiach in Yeshua's name. Amen.